All right. So we got about halfway done, if you look and see. We forgot, pick it up and show them on the bottom. We forgot we need to do all of our jumpers first, so we did all of our jumpers. And then fold her back over again. Another thing we noticed, Angie caught, was that I put an extra whole set of eyelets. So we kind of colored them with uh, markers so we won't accidentally use them. We probably put a piece of tape over them. Yeah. As but well. somehow or another, I added a whole extra row of those. Um, so we'll probably end up just putting at least a couple of our lock, you know, what we mounted to the board with here, and we'll maybe put a couple more of them over here. But since we've got an open spot there, we'll, we'll mount some of our screws through to the chassis there. Um, but she's doing good. We've got quite a bit of it done. Um, we took this off for now just because it was wobbling. I kept hitting it. We didn't want it to keep scratching and possibly damage it. So we'll put that in. Well, yeah, that stacker right. resistors, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's going along well. We, we did stop recording after we realized it's probably not that exciting just listening to us yammer on about this and that. Right. But um, So it's coming along well. Uh, we'll resume it again in another day here. But uh, That's awesome. Yep. Thanks guys for watching. Bye. All right, everybody. So uh, Angie got to a point where she was pretty much done <laughs> being filmed doing it earlier. So we stopped, but I went through then, and after she finished putting all the components on it, I've gone back in and soldered them all in, and uh, we now have the board all put together. And the other thing we have as well is I have been working uh, to get the chassis put together and ready. So the chassis now has the power um, tubes, the rectifier tube, power in. I've got my two switches here. Sorry, my uh, two switches, one here. Oh, not even two, I can't think today. This is my switch, power switch. This is my bulb right here. And this is my fuse. And then we have, if we come around this side, we've got our three, uh, two volume pots and a tone pot for the inputs. Now I've got only two of the three in and I have to kind of clean those up, I've showed you before, but uh, it's pretty much ready. Now the one thing I did do, I'll turn this over, is, oops, hold on. The other side of this guy, I did use the original transformer, the power transformer. Um, let me get that in frame. That, and it, it is, looks to me like we're going to be ready. But I did run into one thing that was seeming to be a bit problematic. Is these, This is the original output transformer. It does look pretty close to the similar size of the one I've got here. But you can see the laminations of that are looking pretty crusty. And so I was a little worried it just wasn't going to work out for what I wanted. So I decided to spend the, I don't know, it was 25 or 35 bucks for a good output transformer that's new. So we have a new output transformer that'll work for that purpose. I've just kind of got the run, wires run for that in here. But we will get that sorted out as well. So now I have the only problem I did run into, and I'm going to hopefully get that finished up very soon, and you'll see that in the next video, is uh, I will have to go through and obviously connect up all this stuff in first, but I was trying to fit my board, which will go in roughly like this, and I got my holes drilled and everything set up, but I got myself some spacers and these spacers will go underneath. You can kind of see one there and the screw will come down from the top down through that spacer, which is right here like that. But I found out that I didn't give myself enough length in these screws. These are half inch screws and I need probably three quarters. So I need a little bit more length. So I'm gonna have to go back and get those, but I did find some cool aluminum spacers from aluminumspacers.com uh, and these are really cool and it wasn't that expensive for a total of 100 of them so uh, I'll be using those for a lot of my builds for now and I might try some of their different sizes and shapes but I just wanted to be able to lift it up off of the chassis a little bit so that is my latest update hopefully between that and Angie's little bit of video where she showed things together you'll you guys will uh, get some good information about the building process you won't see everything one of the areas that I wanted to highlight also that I'm thinking about is right here by my finger this is the uh, variable resistor that is used in that part that I mentioned. So in the grounding part to help balance the phase inversion part of the output. So I will be going through and setting that and you guys will hopefully be interactive with me on that. I'll record that and let you see it as well. Um, but we now have everything put together. Uh, we have our, uh, in fact, I can quickly go through things on this board again, like I showed on the thing, but you'll see them in, in real time here. We have right here are my two cathodes. Uh, they connect in through here and they ground out through there. We have, this is the 33K, these are two 68Ks that are the inputs that will then connect off to the tubes. And these are my uh, power droppers that connect into the outputs and then jump off and go to the tone pots and whatnot. This is my uh, last round of filtering right before we get to those phases. 
We have the ground from this guy. We have another dropper resistor here, another output, and then we are balancing it through this part right here, which is actually kind of cool that I've mentioned before. This is a, oh, I'm not going hang on the screen. Uh, th th this part here, that's the same power dropper for that second for the, for the phase inverter. But we also have this global local negative feedback that comes in and this will filter out just some parts of it. And um, it comes in through this 3.3 meg resistor back in and kind of cleans out a little bit and gives a little bit more headroom. So, uh, and then this is that balance resistance here. Then we go off into, this is the last bit of the power filtering and those resistor, or these are the capacitors that do the, all the nice filtering. I'm gonna put some silicone inside of this guy to balance it, but it's there soldered in. And then there's that final capacitor over here for the power tubes. Our power tubes will come in. The output from this stuff will go into the, first into my rectifier tube, then the power tubes, and then you know on. So uh, this is a pretty straightforward, not too complicated build, other than these kind of cool tweaks that our Dumble did. So. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will uh, give you the, hopefully the final version very soon. Bu put together, built, and finalized. Let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.